Good day, mates. This is your favorite DJ, DJ OK. I know why you're listening to me right now. You want to know why? Because my news is free. Let's get into it. Okay, Sunfest is over, guys. We are way past Sunfest. It is Wednesday, the Wednesday after Sunfest, which was three days ago. One Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, four days ago. It was four days ago. But the internet is still buzzing. Obviously, when an event is that big of a magnitude, and it's actually a prestigious event that came from Haiti to Miami, there's going to be a lot to say. So, what is being said right now? So, we shot COVID, a.k.a. legendary maestro of Kylie Me, now the owner slash maestro of... No, you see the maestro? He's the lead singer slash owner of Kai. He is kind of pissed off at the, just the general population because of the nasty stuff you guys are saying on the internet. Hmm. And he took it to Instagram slash Facebook, whatever social media accounts he has, or Twitter, and he posted this. And this is how he feels about it. Basically, let me, as I'm talking to you guys, I'm going to just keep <laughs> posting some of the messed up things people are saying. And you guys were going in. How do I feel about the comments you guys are saying? I mean, if you, everybody has their own opinion. You can say however you feel. So I don't really feel, I don't feel anything towards the people that are saying these messed up things. I mean, that's how you feel. Were they excessive? Yes, they were really excessive. But any other nationality that would have had that kind of beef going online, we would have just looked at it, laughed, forwarded it to our friends and thought it was funny. So just because it's our people and it's our own, how could now we feel some type of way, oh, you know, this is discrimination against our own people. No, you can't you can't have a dub double sided sword. Like it's either you're gonna like it or don't like it. And if you don't like it, don't like it for any nationality that happens to not just when it comes to happens to your Haitian people. Me, I have a complex sense of humor. So I find a lot of stuff funny. Even if somebody had put me in the comment section and said, DJ OK, Uled, Uled, Uled. So, Eskim led. I don't think I'm ugly. Y'all think I'm ugly? I don't think I'm ugly. So, it doesn't matter what people say, man. That's how I feel about it. But Rishi Akabe is pissed the hell off, man. And guys, don't piss off Rishi Akabe, okay? Because he is the prince of the Haitian community, all right? The ha prince of the HMI. I gave him that title. He's the prince of the HMI. Rocha is the queen of the HMI. Um, the princess of the HMI is Beijing. And the king of the HMI is... I don't know. Can we have two kings? <sighs> this one's a tough one. The king of the HMI to me is either Arlie or Richie. I, I don't know which one to pick. Because they're both their resumes are just extensive. Alright, anyhow. Don't piss off. Richard Kabe, okay guys? Now, there was a call sheet slash attendance sheet and there's a few people that just didn't show up for work. When I say don't didn't show up for work, that doesn't mean they didn't show up to the stadium. They just, the time slot they were given, they did not make it. So if you're at a job at 9 to 5, you don't show up between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m., what did you do? A no call, no show. You did not show up for work. So these are the list of people that did not show up to Sunfest for work. Number one, we got Izola. Izola did not make it to work. Don't know how, don't know why he did not show up for work. Who else didn't show up for work? Gabel. Gabel did not make it to work. Um, half the musicians were there for work. Flea did not make it to work, so the band did not perform. So that's number two. Number three. DJ Stax, he didn't show up for work. His time slot was given. He didn't make it. He didn't make. It. He did a no call, no show. Who else? Bejin and Kajlak. I do not know how they didn't make it to work. They lived down the street. They could have walked. They could have walked. <laughs> what is this? They could have walked to work that day, bro. They could have walked. Like Tom and Jerry did not make it to work that day. C'est la vie. Who else? Who else? Who else? There's more. There's more. Well, Rudy Rude Boy almost 
didn't make it to work, but that would have been a tragedy. That would have been a tragedy, man. We needed that Rudy Rude Boy performance, man. Whew. Rudy Rude Boy saved by the bell, and look at all the great um uh, um what's the accolade? How do you say accolade in English? The um, the great praise that you're getting for your performance because it was top notch Sunfest performance. That was the kind of performances you need at Sunfest. So the top performers for me at Sunfest were Rudy Rude Boy, T Vice. Kai, Kuyola, I think those were my top four performances. Yeah, the, those were the top four for me. Yep, I think I'm accurate. Top four performances, Rudy, T-Vice, Kai, and um, Kuyola. Especially when Tijo had to come back out. Like, that was just incredible, man. I, I love to see stuff like that. I love to see winners. So, yep. So, let's move on a little bit. Guys, so I thought Zatem was just going to be a six-month thing happening. It is not a six-month thing happening now. Zatem is booked up till December of 2024. So, with Zatem right now, this is bothering me, guys. This is bothering the hell out of me. There we go. It's going away. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. So with Zatham taking that top spot right now, now I want to say it's a tie for top spot. Right now, Zatham has the buzz because they're the new kids on the block, but class is still established. Stop, class is still established. In 2024, class is all booked up. Zatham booked up for 2024. So what does that do? That pushes down. Kai was in the second spot. They were in spot number two in the HMI. So now it's Zafem and Klaas. They're, I got to give them a tie. I can't, I can't put one a, a, a ahead of the other because Zafem still hasn't proven himself to the market and Klaas has. So I'm going to put them right there with a slight edge to Klaas. With a slight edge to Klaas. But right now, Zafem is the one bringing in the numbers and the money. So I'm going to give a slight edge to Klaas because they're established and, um, you know, Every time you think class is down, they just pop back up with some more stuff. And they don't even have an album out yet. Album out yet, so I got to give class the slight edge. And Kai has been pushed down to the third slot. Um, Vibe is in the fourth slot, slot right now. New Look is in the fifth slot. Everybody else is not even going to get there. So New Look is in the fifth slot. So, hmm. Speaking of Zafem, I'm not trying to start any beef, but if it happens, so what? Allegedly, this is what Zafem is paying per the musicians, gig giggers, per gig. And they're saying on the streets, on the streets, that class is only paying their musicians $200. $200 per event. Okay. What do I have to say about that? First and foremost, I do not believe Class is paying the musicians $200 per event. Let's just go from the top of Class to the bottom musicians. So, okay. Let's, no offense to the Class musicians, but I'm going to go for the least important musician. I'm going to say, out of the, the musicians for class, the least important musician is the keyboardist. The keyboardist is the least important musician for class. There is absolutely no freaking way he is getting paid $200. Uh, what the hell is his name? Um, I forget the keyboardist's name. Um, there's no freaking way he's getting paid $200. I know that for a fact. I'm going to put him, though. Let's just say, I don't know his finances. I don't know class, class finances. But I'm going to put him at $350 per gig. Maybe four. I'm pushing it with the four. So let's go $300, $350. That's what he's getting per gig. So in a weekend, he makes probably around $1,400 a weekend. That's not bad. Especially tax-free. Ain't nobody taxing them for it. So you get $1,400 in your pocket. 
you get your food paid for. You're on every fucking flight everywhere. You get drinks, like, so it's, you got fourteen hundred dollars untouched. Is my math right? No, I'm way off on that one. Um, eleven hundred to twelve hundred dollars, something like that. I forgot the number. Whatever, my math is off right now. But eleven hundred dollars, twelve hundred dollars per week, not bad. And that's on a good week because that's if, um, that's if you have three gigs. Sometimes you have four. Sometimes you have five. So I think the class musicians are doing well financially that's that's on the low end that's the keyboardist. i feel like he's the least important one because they can replace him like crazy so richie richie's making at least 2500 to three thousand dollars per gig so richie makes about 10 10 racks a week <laughs> i'm just saying he makes about 10 racks a week i'm gonna say people makes about five to six thousand dollars a week that's my number. And I'm going to say, um, what's the bass player name? Uh, damn, what's his name? Whatever the hell his name is. I think he's co-owner too. Ooh. Okay, so Richie might not make 10 racks. So Richie might make, make between 7 racks. Yeah. 6, 7 racks a week. And then people mix around 5 to 4 racks a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I'm comfortable with that number. So, long story short. Damn, we're digging in there. Finances, y'all. Yo, I'm going to do a financial video to see how much everybody's making soon. Watch. I'm going to estimate, and I'm not going to be off by much. Watch and see. Anyhow, um, so I feel like nobody in class is getting paid $200 per gig unless it's just a one-off. We just need you for that one day. Somebody's not available. No, like on this one, this one, no, no. Take it if you want it. You don't want it. We're going to find somebody that wants to say. Somebody want to play with class. So, there's no way you can't you can uh, compare class finances to Zafem because Zafem is a phenomenon right now. Zafem is charging people twenty thousand dollars. So hell yeah, your musicians is getting paid this much. So we're gonna leave it at that, all right? So Zafem is hot right now. Class is climbing back up. Kai has um, dropped down to the third slot. No, to the yeah, to the third slot. Vibe is in the fourth slot, and um, New Look is in the fifth slot. That's the way the HMI is shaped up. All right, guys. Anyhow, Monday through Friday, man. Come check me out right here, man. I'm your favorite new. I'm your favorite YouTuber now, guys. Accept it. Like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Let's help the channel grow. And please stop um, watching my videos and coming back to my Instagram to comment. If you notice, I've ignored you. That's for a reason. You're not helping me grow by coming to talk to me in my Insta. Like, make it make sense. If you got a comment, drop it down. Let's discuss it. Let's all talk about it. I mean, as long as you ain't saying nothing reckless and you're hiding behind your, your, your gram or your email, you can say whatever you want to say at the bottom of this thing, man. Nope, it's a judge-free zone. Drop your comments. All right, guys? Yo, I'm your free news guy, man, and I'm out of here, yo. You want to know why? Because my news is free. Peace.